Hi, everybody. So if you attend one of my uh, sessions, whether it's one of my Joy Pro sessions or uh, a Q&A call or something like that, I will usually have something like this that you see on the screen in the beginning of the session. Uh, for example, in my Joy Pro session, I, I facilitate intention setting. And uh, basically, I have, um, I'll just keep playing. I don't know if you can hear, but I have, I have music uh, or soundtrack in the background with a little music video, and then I have the prompt for people down here. And you might be wondering, or some people ask me, well, how do you do that? So let me go ahead and show you. So you're seeing my entire desktop right now. And what I have to do when I set this up is, I, well, I, first of all, I use Zoom, so that's very simple. And I use Zoom screen sharing, um, but particularly a portion of the screen. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. All right, so as you can see, I have my Zoom pulled up, and what I do is I share my screen. I click on the share screen here, and then I go to advanced, and this is where I can share portion of the screen. I also make sure I'm sharing the sound and optimize for video sharing. This is so that it's smoother for the people. It takes more bandwidth for both me and the participant, but it's the video is smoother, and um, I, I think it also makes sure it doesn't show the Zoom zoom windows uh, like the chat window or whatever on top of my anyway so uh, that's that's for a separate thing so let's click on portion of screen so I'm going to double click on that and notice that portion of screen I can now select I can I can click and drag this this um, I already selected uh, optimally and I'll show you why I put it here in the lower left corner of my thing because and like I said I can click and drag any of the corners to increase how how much I share of my screen or decrease. The reason I put it down here is because, and let me go ahead and just minimize this YouTube video here. The reason I put it down here is because I have uh, already um, pulled up and minimized. I have pulled up and minimized um, a YouTube video. It's a YouTube music video. This is you know this is the uh, the Braveheart uh, theme with some nice uh, background there. And I've also uh, opened up and, and minimized um, a Google document. Okay, so uh, this is simply a Google document where you know it's typically um, it's typically a large a large window or whatever, right? And I simply shrunk it down to um, I, sh I shrunk it down. I see the way I did it was I was like, okay, I want to share I want to share this YouTube video, um, but I I don't want to I want to I don't want to have it be distracting so whoops uh, sorry about that so I don't want to have it be distracting so I basically um, share uh, let me let me get rid of my bookmark bar here so I basically share just this portion and when I'm playing the video you see un unless I put my mouse over the thing they don't see the distracting YouTube play bar um, let me turn down let me turn down the music a little bit here okay so you see, if I move my mouse away, they don't see the YouTube play bar, and it just looks like a music video, and it looks like a prompt down here. I know it doesn't; it's not super pretty, this thing down here, but you know, it's if in fact, if anyone watching this has any other tricks or ideas for how to make this prettier looking, uh, the particularly the prompt thing down here, I just use a Google Doc; it's easy. If I click on this Google Doc, then I'm screen sharing. My screen sharing will look like this, where they see the entire Google Doc, you know, uh, toolbar. So that's why I click on the YouTube video, and then it hides that top YouTube uh, or Google Docs bar, and then I move my mouse away. And then what I do is I also, um, uh, I also, I have my notes. So let's say I don't know. Let's say let's say I have my my speaking notes or, or facilitation notes. I before I start the session, I will drag my notes over to like the, to like here. I will bring up this window and this window position it like this and I'll drag my notes over here so that I can still be looking at my notes while they're just all they're seeing is this plus you know me a little video of me on the, on the top right I'll, I'll show you I'll show you again um, what what this looks like give me one second here so this looks again like this ultimately ultimately it looks like it looks like. Oops, let me let me uh, stop my screen sharing on Zoom so it's not so. Uh, let me stop the screen share and let me end the Zoom call. Okay. Okay. So ultimately, it ends up looking like this. You see. So it, it, it's yeah. The, you can't tell from here that this is the lower left of my screen. It just looks normal. 
and then it has my 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 little video on the top right here whatever i'm doing i could hide myself if i want to but uh so that's how that works i hope this makes sense if you have any questions you can comment below or if you have any other ideas for how one might facilitate the screen sharing of a music video with a prompt uh, easily um, chat below. The, the, way, the reason I like how easy this is is because it's simply a Google Doc and I could literally be changing the prompt in, in the middle of the, the, the screen sharing if I, if I, if I ever needed to, to do that, right? So anyway, I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching.